If you are an affiliate marketer who sometimes struggles staring at a blank screen when you're writing your next affiliate blog post, this video is exactly for you. Hey guys, I'm John from IncomeMesh.com and in today's video, I wanna cover five different content blocks that are just introduced for Thrive Architect's new builder that's going to help you write better, more consistent, and quicker content for your affiliate marketing blog posts, okay? Let's go ahead and dive in here. So if you're not familiar, I have some links about the overall uh, new content block packs that I'll put into the description below of this video. But in a nutshell, there's been a new element added inside of Thrive Architect here. If you click on the plus button, you'll see this content block at the top. And this is going to allow you to really jump start your content creation process. If you're one of those people who like to blog directly here in WordPress when you're coming up with your first draft, this is going to be a godsend for you because it's going to allow you to um, not just go off the cuff, but it's going to give you a structure for almost everything you do, which is fantastic. So in this video, like I said, I'm going to cover five different content patterns, content blocks that you you can cover and it'll really help you especially if you're an affiliate marketer okay let's go ahead and dive in so the first one we want to do here is if we are work working on a resources page you know you always want to as an affiliate let people know what tools you are using uh, what tools you recommend the best the you know the worst all that good stuff all we have to do to get that accomplished is insert in a content block here and then i can quickly click on the resource list under block types and now all of these options are going to be my resources that I recommend. So what we can do is just kind of look for one that kind of works for us, our style. We've got single column. We've got three columns across. I think I like this one here. We're going to go ahead and insert this into our content. And now my screen's a little bit small here for the video, uh, but you can see that we have, it would go three across, but here it's going to wrap around a little bit. Uh, let me go ahead and pause this. Alrighty, I quickly got rid of that sidebar there so we can just see how it would look on a normal size screen. We'll have our three uh, resources across. And what's great about this, if you make a styling uh, decision, it will cascade across. So for example, if I look at this style and I decide I want the image style to have maybe a lifted style, if I click on that and apply it, that styling will be cascaded across all the images here. So let me just find one you can really see. Here we go. So lifted style two gives a nice shadow at the bottom here. I'll click apply. And now you can see all the images for my resources will have that same styling applied across. I can also go ahead and maybe make all my titles a little bit smaller like that. And that will apply all the way across. And of course, if I want my color scheme to be on brand, luckily they give you just a, an accent color here to work with. So you can see how the accent would work. And if my brand instead is maybe like an orange, let's make this my brand color for this video. And we will add this to a global color here and apply it. Now my branding is on point and everything's looking good. From that point on, as I get more resources, I can always come up here to the content block and duplicate it. Let me get the green guy. There we go. I can duplicate my resources one more time. Simply remove this text here. And then I can keep adding more resources to my affiliate marketing website. Okay, so that's number one. So we can see how this would look. Now I have the title of the blog post here or the title of the page here, so I'd probably remove that. But you can get a nice idea of how an affiliate marketing resource list would look like this. Another very common content pattern for affiliate marketers is the problem solution methodology. And let's go ahead and show you what this looks like by making a new blog post to kind of introduce the problem to the readers and you know having the readers find you through SEO, learning about the problem, and then you provide the solution, which is probably a product that you're recommending. So once again, we'll go to plus, we'll go to content block. And here we're going to select down at the bottom, a problem and solution. And now you've got a few different options here. We've got four different options of um, how you want this to display. You've got some that are problem one, problem two, problem three, multiple problems. You've got some that are you know inline images above big images. Let's just go ahead and pick this one here, uh, which is going to have a nice hero image of the story itself. Then you'll explain the story to kind of give the, some context and some emotional appeal. And then you'll explain what the problem is and give the solution to that problem. And if this is an affiliate marketing focused blog post, we might want to put a button down here and say, get the solution or something like that. And we would, of course, keep this on brand by making the color here our um, theme color. OK, so you'd be able to write through this and quickly go through and replace an image. And if this was a list post, you can, of course, simply go to the content block, duplicate the entire thing, and you could start to build out an entire 
you know, kind of a pillar list post of really building out a lot of good content here and maybe showing uh, problems for your email marketing and then a problem for your uh, conversion optimization for your Facebook ads. And you can really go through and use a lot of inspiration from these content blocks to help your content evolve appropriately. So let's go ahead and put some images in here and just <laughs> some random stock images here. Some guy really feeling the blues. So we'll call this the blues. I don't know if he's singing the blues and you could go ahead and imagine what it would look like. Let's add one more. And then as we save and exit this, Without putting any real work into this uh, blog post here, you can already start to see that this is going to be an easy to follow blog post for anybody reading it because it follows a nice pattern. And that's going to really help people follow along and stick with you through the end because they feel like they're going on a consistent journey. Okay, for this next one, I want to cover kind of the top 10 type of blog posts where you're, instead of doing an overall resource list where you probably recommend one tool for each category, I'm going to show you how you can kind of put up a list post and that's going to give some really dynamic reviews involved. So we'll say review list post and we'll publish this one real quick and let's edit with Thrive Architect. So now if we go into our content blocks, I want to find the product reviews and you can see here that we have some different review types. This is the one that I'm looking for here where you have multiple products as a little blurb for each product, but then they can click in and learn more about each product as they go. But you can see they've got a lot of focus here on affiliate marketing and review posts, which I am really grateful for because I think that's a great monetization strategy. So let's go ahead and insert this into the content. And so what you'd probably do in this one is you would go up above this and you give an introduction to uh, what you're going to talk about and then you know why drones or phones or whatever it is that you're doing reviews of is an important thing to learn about and then you go into the top 10 of that product category and you go ahead and get started with your reviews so here if i click on the content block you can see once again i can change my accent colors to be on brand but if i decide that i want number one to be really called out specifically i can click this little lock here that will unlock this guy and then I can give him his own color or I can do any styling I want to really. So here I'll change his background color to um, like this nice little blue and that will be nice. And I'll go ahead and lock him back, which he is now locked back. Oh, here we go. Lock him back in. So now any other styling I do, like changing the font uh, size of this layout, come here to typography and increase the font size. Come on, increase the font size. And it's giving me some, some issues today. <laughs> but these do link together. Maybe I'll change the font color for you just to show you that example. Okay, so you can see that's a, a hideous font coloring, but now the text and everything here is re-linked together. And let me go back to white so we don't hurt each other's eyes. And now you can go through and customize these as you'd like. And when you wanna add more to your list, you can simply go through and say, select the content box that surrounds all the elements and duplicate, change this to number three and add your content there. So that way you can give a very good, very quick and nicely styled list post that has as much customization as you want. And just to show that one more time, let's go to our image style and let's give it uh, like a, a circle. And so now all of these images, instead of being that standard image, are now circular, focused in on the product. It even cascades down to the new ones on the list. Very, very nice. And here is the final output here where you can see the colors are very themed. The buttons have been accented to our theme color and we have everything looking very nice and clean. So that's another, that was the third one. Let's go into the fourth one here. And this fourth one is going to be a very simple product review. But what's lovely is that Thrive Architect is going to keep us on task when we're doing our review, so it follows a nice structure. So I'll come here to plus and add a content block. And over here on the left-hand side, we should be able to click on the product review. And then you can you know, see here, how do you want to do your review? Is it a resource list, a pros and cons, product review list, or product rating? Here we go. So now, um, instead of listing out multiple products, we're going to list out different attributes of a single product. So let's go ahead and preview this block to show you what it looks like. So now we'll be able to look at the product, give it a quality score, a speed score, a cost score, and an overall rating. That's perfect. So let's go ahead and add that in. But of course, it might not be quality, speed, and cost. It might be features, 
complexity and cost or something like that. We can change the ratings obviously to maybe it doesn't have very many features. It is super simple and it's you know average priced or something like that. And so that, that all looks really good. We can come to the overall styling area and see here our accent color. Again, it's just a single accent color. We can you know theme it to our brand and now we have a good looking review. Uh, none of this does the math for you, so I'd recommend you do the math. If it's going to be evenly weighted, you'd want to go ahead and actually do the math to make sure that's maybe that's a 3.7 out of 5 or something like that. And then what you could do at the bottom here is either add another content block. So let's add a, one more content block that will be a call to action. So now you, we've clicked on um, product review to dial in and then the call to action to give kind of like a subsection of it. And then you want to go ahead and try to get them to buy, right? So this looks like a good content block. We'll add it into the content. And now this would be the product image you'd want to show here. Uh, and you'd say maybe buy this now and put your affiliate link here, which will let you kind of really focus in your content. You might want to add also um, more in-depth sections where you talk about each feature at once. And to do that, you might choose to do something like taking this gray content box and doing feature one review and maybe add a little bit more padding at the top here. And then you'd be able to go through and create, let's remove that. You'd be able to create more in-depth reviews of each feature as you go. And then you'd be able to give that conclusion at the end there. So that would be how I would recommend doing a, a pro and con. What you can also do, since we're here on this uh, section here as well, you don't want to get too busy with all of these product bl or content blocks, but they do work well together. You add one more, and then you can even do a pro and con list at the end. This always helps people make that decision. I like to have a nice contrast when I go into the pros and cons section because people look for this section. Here you can see this was nicely mobile responsive because it wants to be side by side by default. And if I scroll this out far enough, you can see I do get side by side pros and cons. And then here you'd be able to go and just really build out that case. You know, is this the product for them or not and why? And also under my main options for the content block, I can change the color of the pros. So let's say this is going to be my theme color and the color of the cons. Let me go back here. The color of the cons is going to be uh, like a, I don't know, a fuchsia or something like that. And then also if you don't like the background color being so dark, you can do that as well. And you have very quick styling for your pros and cons list. So that is the fourth type of content pattern with doing the product reviews. Let's go ahead and move on to the fifth. And here you can see kind of how that product review plays out very nicely. So for our fifth and final content pattern for today, we want to do like a how-to post, a how to master a certain post. And so we'll go ahead and give this guy a quick title and go into Thrive Architect. All right, and so here, once again, we're going to go to our content blocks and add in a content block. And we can see here, they also have a section, once it loads up here, for blog posts. And so as we scroll down, you can see they have quotes or steps. So I like their steps here. So if you wanted to have a review of a product and then lead them into a step-by-step -step guide on how to use the product, you'd be able to use one of these step-by-step -step sections here as well. So if I look through, this is really just personal preference. I like it a little bit cleaner. So we'll go here to this list of steps and insert this into our content. And so now you can, uh, you'd can you want to have some sort of introduction about what it is that they're learning. But then you'd give uh, how to uh, bake a cake. And you do list item one. So this would be step one, get ingredients, et cetera, et cetera. Just because this is a content pattern doesn't mean you can't also add an image here. So you can definitely come in and add an image of you purchasing the stuff. So maybe this is somebody making a purchase, I think. I don't know what that actually is. And <laughs> again, I like to give some image effects, some little overlays and things like that to it. So we'll give this a dark frame, for example. Looks nice. And you'd be able to go through it like that. And of course, to keep everything on brand, we can come through and give it our theme color and also change in this particular content block, the vertical line. Uh, let's make it black. All right, and if we view this one here as well, 
you'll see how quick and easy it will be for you to create you know very effective affiliate marketing posts you've got resource lists you've got pros and cons you've got full product reviews you've got product review lists and step-by-step guides on how to use those specific products. So I hope this video was helpful. Thrive Architect really excels in this particular use case of building out really nice affiliate marketing posts. Their Thrive Architect Builder gives you a ton of flexibility and allows you to have a structure and then bring your own creativity into that structure, which I really find uh, welcoming and a good way to blog. If you want to check out Thrive Architect, you can head over to IncomeMesh.com slash Thrive Membership to get access to all of their products for one very reasonable monthly fee. It's I use it on several of my websites. I love it. I recommend it. And I do it for client websites as well because if you really want to control your business and also optimize for conversions, Thrive Architect and Thrive Suite is one of the best out there to do that. I'm John from IncomeMesh.com. I hope you found this was helpful and effective. Let me know by, by leaving a comment below. Subscribe to the channel. Hit, leave a like and all that good stuff. Share it with your friends and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.